Welcome back to Living in Wait. A few weeks ago, HLTA hosted the 19th Annual Citizen Scholar Awards and awarded scholarships to graduating seniors from around the state. And we had the privilege of hosting the awards banquet, Kelly and I, that honored over 40 public school students from across the state. Joining us now, Mufi Hanneman, President and CEO of the Hawaii Lodging and Tourism Association, and Sophia Burgess, Citizen Scholar recipient from Konawana High School. Thank you guys so much for being here. Absolutely. Good to see you again. Good to see you too. And I guess you can never get, uh, it's, it's never old to hear a congratulations, so congratulations. Thank you so much. And to you too, Mufi, for, for such a great event. Let's talk about it real quick. Um, what is all the scholarships uh, going to, they're all about, and who's eligible for it? It's called a citizen scholar. So okay. it's not only academic excellence, but also we want students who are already giving back to their school, community, uh, and that means that in the future, they're going to help make Hawaii a better place to live, work, and raise our families. So that's the basic definition, and she represented Kona High School, and uh, wow, what a fantastic background, accomplishments, 4.0 student, uh, four AP subjects, four sports, and heading off to North Carolina, Chapel Hill. She's going to be a Tar Heel. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, it was so amazing to see all, all the different students and uh, read off stuff that I had no idea even existed. So, uh, yeah, you're, you're way smarter than I am. <laughs> um, what is it about these students that actually made them stand out as citizen scholars? And, and what was the metric that you guys actually measured it by? Well, they are recommended by their school through the DOE. So we don't select them, the school selects them. And one of her counselors said this, in all his years of being involved in education, she is the most dedicated and conscientious student that he's ever come across. Mm -hmm. So that speaks volumes of uh, why she is such an outstanding person uh, that we are recognizing. And of course, all the public schools, of uh, 41 schools that we were honoring, uh, they had similar accolades about the person that they chose uh, to be a citizen scholar for 2023. Yeah, and I'll, I'll be reading um, a quick comment about what was said about you in just a second, but how does it feel to be Konawina's selection? and? What does it mean to be recognized? Um, you know, I'm honored to be Konawana selection. I've lived in the Konawana community and basically was raised um, in Konawana and like that community. So I'm just really proud to represent all of them. And I appreciate, you know, all of them helping me throughout the years. I wouldn't have gotten to accomplish what I have without them. Okay, so our notes say that, uh, as you were so eloquently putting just moments ago, AP honors early college classes, Hawaii State Student Council representative, editor of the school paper, multi-sport athlete, and the list goes on and on. And again, you'll be attending the University of North Carolina, yes. Chapel Hill. Um, what, what drove you to be such a good student and, and a good athlete and, and now attending college? What, what, what drives you? Um, I think that Personally, I'm very like passionate and curious about new th like learning and teaching and just kind of absorbing as much as I can. Mm -hmm. So I think um, just throughout like my childhood and just like growing up, I was always curious about different things and always wanting to try like new things and like mm -hmm. I think all of those things I like started just like being interested in and I just managed to kind of um, be settled in each of those things and make them a part of my life, yeah. I'm, I'm just wondering, did you make time for birthday parties? And I like, did actually, oh, yeah. Oh gosh, okay, I don't know how you found the time to do all of that stuff. Um, just amazing, and, and this type of uh, student was the type of students that you had throughout the award ceremony, it was oh, great. You know, I, I got chicken skin reading through all their accomplishments and their recommendations. It just makes me feel very good about Hawaii that our Department of Education has so outstanding leaders that are coming through. What was the impetus for the program? The impetus for the program is that we just didn't want to recognize students who were academically proficient or were majoring in hospitality. We just wanted to look at the whole lot and say, look, we want a citizen scholar. We want someone that can take their rightful place, uh, whether it's in government, business, law, education, nonprofit in the community. And she wants to study uh, and major in government and public policy at uh, North Carolina Chapel Hill. Good. Okay, and with that said, if there's a student out there listening, a junior, a sophomore, do you have any advice for any of them uh, to accomplish some of what you've accomplished or to be able to become a citizen scholar? Um, I would just say, you know, just um, keep in mind what your passions are and try to prioritize what you love doing and kind of um, keep your effort and focus into that. And, you know, just be grateful for those around you because those are the people that when you accomplish something, they all accomplish it. So I just say, like, um, keep your um, humble beginnings, but also strive for um, whatever you 
choose to desire to do, yeah. Never never let your guard down. Always work hard, right? Yes, exactly. That's perfect. Thank you yeah. so much, you guys, for being here. Really, really appreciate it. Um, if somebody wanted to know uh, more information about the Citizen Scholar Awards, is there a website that we can go to? HawaiiLodging.org. You go there and you click on and see Citizen Scholar there. Perfect. And we'll have that information on our website shortly after the show. You can go to KHUN2.com. Uh, again, congratulations. Thank you guys so much for being here. And I'd be remiss if I didn't thank you and Kelly for doing an outstanding job. Didn't you yes, think so? It was great. really our being honor. the master of ceremonies of that event. Thank so, you. Sorry for the stale jokes. <laughs> <laughs>